everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to day 312 of trying a new makeup product every day. Today I have this LA Colors Green Smoothing Face Primer to try out and I chose it in the green shade because green is used for color correcting and reducing redness and you can see I have no makeup on my face right now and I have a lot of redness. So I'm always trying to neutralize the redness, really tone it down. So I love to use green color correcting to do that. I got this at the Dollar Tree, so it was only $1. I already tried this out in the white version that claims to minimize pores and I really liked it. So if you wanna see my video on that one, I will link it down below, but at my Dollar Tree. They had this in all of the different colors. It comes also in yellow, cool pink, and peach. And all of the colors have different purposes. And since this is from the Dollar Tree, this was only $1. And I've been eyeing some high-end green face primers because I want to really just try and reduce this redness like the Smashbox green primer. I've been wanting to try that, but it is a higher price point. So I'm excited to see if this $1 version could actually do the trick to really help me out with this. All right, so let's get into it. I just need to tie my hair back. And it's so funny, my hair is actually long enough that I don't need a hair elastic to tie it back. I can just put it into a bun and it will actually stay. All right, so it does come in this angled squeezy tube, but I'm just going to put a little bit onto my fingertips and rub it into my face the way I would a moisturizer because it says to apply a thin layer before applying makeup. So I just took another dollop of about a pea size amount. And so now I have two dollops worth that I'm applying. But oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like clean and floral and it really does kind of smell like a high-end face product. I'm surprised because LA Colors doesn't usually have like nice scents to their products. I think maybe to keep their prices down, they don't add that extra fragrance, but for some reason, this one has a really nice scent to it. Okay, so a thin layer is applied to my face now, and it feels so good on the skin. It really does feel hydrating and a little bit tacky, which is good to help the makeup stay in place. And this one doesn't claim to be minimizing to my pores, but it's definitely giving me a more smoothed effect and my pores look a lot smaller, especially along my cheeks and my nose. And I can definitely notice less redness to my skin. I do have that kind of like green tint. I feel like I look sick, like I'm nauseous. <laughs> that's like what it does to my complexion when I apply a green primer, but that's what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna be putting my foundation on top of this, but I'm liking this more evened tone to my face. I'm going to go in with just a little bit extra along my cheeks. And when I'm applying it at first, it does feel pretty cooling on my skin too. So that's really nice. Like this just all around the scent, the texture, the feel of it doesn't feel like a dollar store makeup product. It really does seem good quality and really easy to blend in too. There is so much less redness in my cheeks now. I'm so happy with how this is looking. To give this a full review, I'm gonna apply my e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation on top of this primer so that we can see how the makeup looks. And this is my go-to foundation when trying out primers because this is just a very standard, like medium coverage foundation so I can still tell how my skin is underneath. And I do have a review on this e.l.f. foundation that I've already done on my channel. So if you want to see that video, I will link that down below. Yesterday, I went to a holiday party at like an activity center type of place and I did go-karts 
and oh my gosh it was so much fun it was like crazy i guess they went 35 miles per hour and there were such sharp turns and when i was like starting out i wasn't hitting the brake when i would do the sharp turns and i would like spin out and it was scary like i'm sure those go-karts are meant for children but i had a blast but they were intense but so much fun so if you have the opportunity to try it i highly recommend it okay so now the foundation is fully applied and i am so happy with this flawless complexion that i'm able to achieve normally when i even have foundation on you can still see a lot of redness in my cheeks and there is barely any redness showing through this is exactly what I was hoping for, exactly what I wanted, and the foundation is sitting so nicely on this primer. My large pores along my nose and cheeks look completely smooth. My skin looks very hydrated and just so perfectly evenly toned. So I am loving this. I'm so happy that this $1 primer does what I was hoping the high-end primers would do. I think I'm gonna have to go back to the Dollar Tree and buy multiples of these because I'm going to start incorporating this into my daily makeup routine because this just looks perfect and amazing to me. And I highly recommend this if you have any redness like I do, but also it just really perfects the texture of my skin. So even if you don't have as much redness to your skin tone as I do, I still recommend this as a great primer for anybody. Thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day. And I will see you tomorrow in my next video.